What's going on everybody? This is Slump Bustin' Rips, back with you for another video. I do want to first announce that this is the first video that I have made since the name change. Uh, we were originally Max Rips Cards and Autographs. Uh, that was something that was kind of thrown together just to get going making videos. It's kind of long, doesn't roll off the tongue very well. Wasn't really what I was kind of looking for. Uh, did some thinking about it and we came up with Slump Bustin' Rips. Today we will be ripping 20 fat packs of 2022 Top Series 2. And you already know who we're looking for. We are looking for the short prints of Julio Rodriguez and Bobby Witt. So, we got 20 on the do. We're going to get going. Appreciate everybody staying with me and subscribing and tuning in for my videos. I really appreciate it. Um, trying to build it like I've said in the past. And with you guys subscribing and watching and commenting, good and bad, I take it all. I appreciate it. And it makes me want to keep making them. All right, and here we go. We're going to go pretty quick through the first half. We're not going to do very much card flipping. If you see anything major, we'll stop, but we all know where the good stuff's at. All right, of course, good home run challenge right away. Pete Alonzo, speaking of home run challenge, he's going to be in the home run derby. And our lovely stars of the MLB. And this first one is going to be kind of a dead. I do not expect much. Uh, pretty small sample size. Again, there's only 20 packs, and the short prints are, I want to say, are like 1 in 20, 1 in, one in 20 something. Get one, one in 20. So if we get one, I'd be happy. And I, out of the one, I'm sure it's not going to be the two we're looking for. Looks like we got a number to 99 right now. And it's going to be Luis Garcia. Vintage stock. Out of 99. Not too bad. This is a rookie. I don't know how he's really doing this this year, but hey, it's a rookie. We'll take it. And the Mitch Garver. Maddox and these lovely things again. So the home run derby and the all-star game is coming up here pretty soon. Uh, leave a comment below. Who you think is going to win the Home Run Derby? It's in Seattle this year, I believe. I don't really think that's a home run hitting park, but people will be jacked up. I'm sure it won't be too hard for them. We've got a, a blue Nicasianos. Oh, we got a backward. We got a red Craig Deepman. At a 199. That's Craig Deakman rookie. Well, so far, they've been halfway okay. Hopefully, that's not going to be our two major hits for the video, but you never know. We'll get back to the home run derby. And of course, J Rod's in it because he's at home. Uh, I'm sure, he'll be pumped up for that. It's kind of hard to go against Pete Alonzo. I think that's kind of my my call. And then not him, maybe. I'm gonna, my dark horse is going to be Luis Robert. I got a chrome. We got another backwards card. Ooh. KC, come on, baby. 
Danny Duffy. Another vintage stock, though. Dan Danny Duffy. Or at least it could have been the Granky. Got me going there for a second. Backwards card. KC. You know what I was thinking. So we're a little over halfway through the uh, MLB season. How's your guys' teams doing? I am a uh, Cubs fan and a Royals fan. And I don't really think I need to explain to you how they're really doing. Cubs are doing actually okay. They're doing better than I think a lot of people expected. Uh, the NL Central is kind of, I think, going to be wide open. Cincinnati's playing well, but... I guess they're not out of it completely, so that's that's good to know halfway through the year. Another backwards turn, twin. We got Joe Ryan. Joe Ryan short print, I believe. It's a 65, I believe that is a short print. Not bad, Joe Ryan rookie short print. We will definitely take that. Spencer Strider. Uh, back last year, I did actually pull his short print. Uh, it's of him batting. I knew the second I saw him, I'm like, that's got to be the short print because he pitches. Doesn't really hit. And the Royals, I don't think I need to explain either on them. They just are horrible. I don't get it. They have all this talent. They do pretty well in AAA. Uh, again, I live about four miles from their AAA affiliate, Omaha Storm Chasers Stadium. And they actually do pretty good kind of year in, year out. Then they get up into the majors, and I don't know what's... And I know they don't like to spend the money, but... Man, they just, they, something with the coaching. Even though they have new coaching this year, it's not, I don't know. It's like they're not getting what they need to get out of them. Pitching, of course, is always a key factor, and they have no pitching. And Zach Granke is your number one. Nothing against Grant Zanke. Zach Granke, I think he is a future Hall of Famer, but... Uh, to be your to be your opening day number one starter, that's pretty rough. I think he's like one in nine, one in ten. I could be wrong there, but I know their their uh, starting pitching records are pretty brutal. Yep, there's the regular Joe Ryan. O'Neill Cruz. Another Topps Chrome. Altuve. I think he just went back on the IL. I think a lot of them like to go around the IL right before the uh, All Star game so they get a little bit of a break, a little bit longer of a break. 162 games and, you know. Four or five months. That's a that's a lot of games. Not very many days off. There's the Deacon again. We got another backwards card. San Diego. Oh, it might be a Machado. Sure is Machado short print. Let's 
65. Yep, that's the, the short print, base short print. Uh, Manny Machado short print. I think this guy is a future Hall of Famer too. I think he's having a pretty down year by his standards, but I think uh, I think he's gonna gonna be able to do it. These sweet shades are nice. I wish it wasn't Christian Yelich. For all my honest opinion, they could take out Christian Yelich, Chris Bryant, Javi Baez. If they don't make another baseball card of them, I would not be sad. It seems like whatever little jersey napkin you can get or gold cards, it always seems to be one of those three, and that's just brutal. They're not stars anymore. My son scream right there no bite we have uh two puppies that we uh picked up a few months ago they are pit bull puppies and they're just about oh five months and a week old and well they're in that nibbling stage they like to go after them and play with them and it kind of pisses them off sometimes when they get the, the little nibble in but it makes me laugh. Great dogs though. This will be our, those are our second and third pit bulls. Get a bad rap. They're one of, if not, at least of any dog that I've had, the most loyal dogs. And all they wanna do is be petted, be loved. Their name is Cyrus and Zool. Zool is out of, out of Ghostbusters. One of my friends on my first videos told me to stay away from him, but Zool is the terror dog in Ghostbusters, and he looks exactly like him with the ears and the wide, the wide head. We've got a gold of Juan Yepes. Can't complain about that one either. Nice rookie gold. 11-17 of 2022. So far we've been hitting okay. You know, I wish we could have two Bobby Witts and three uh, Julios, but, you know, I won't bake too hard. But if you could please like, subscribe, leave comments. Let me know who your teams are, who you like to root for, who you like to collect. I'm a big Hall of Famer. I like to collect Hall of Famers. As you can see, some of the autographs I got in the background, they're all Hall of Fame. Uh, my dad and I have been collecting autographs for quite a while. We have a big, big collection of autographs of uh, Hall of Famers something we really enjoyed doing together. Let's say we're about halfway through right now, I'm trying to get this to go somewhat quick. You guys don't want to listen to me ramble on for 20 30 minutes. I'm sure this will be about a 20 minute video, if not a little more. Another top chrome of George Springer, Mike Trout. You know, I know he's hurt, I know he's having a pretty down year, but I always sleeve a trout. I think he just pitched a nice gem the other day. Yeah, 
that was another chrome. We got a lot of tops chrome of the uh, stars, which I like because you actually get a lot of backwards cards, it seems like, behind them. The Detroit, maybe it's Torkelson. I pulled a Torkelson the very first blaster of Series 2 I opened last year, the third pack. Pulled the Torque. Oh, we got Tucker Barnhart, Rook Gold. I don't know really much about this guy. Could be good. Number 180 of 2022. He's okay. He's in the pros, so obviously he's good. He's got a 7.3 of Lifetime War, so at least he's got a positive war. We have seven left. Thanks for staying tuned. Thanks for still being here if you're still here. Again, if you can like, subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Again, let me know your teams. I like I like to talk talk sports and let me know who you guys like and follow and I can strike up a conversation with you or whatnot. Another Gold, Yanni Hernandez, or I'm sorry, a rainbow foil. So the, again, the big news for the off season is where's Otani gonna go? Where do you guys think he's gonna go? Uh, another one out of ninety nine. Shogo, another vintage stock. You know, I've never really hit much vintage stock, and this is the third one that we've hit out of here. I guess when you're due, you're due. Lil Kane, I used to watch him down at the Storm Chaser games all the time. And speaking of Otani, where do you guys think he's gonna end up? Think he's gonna stay with the Angels? A lot of people are linking him with the Dodgers. Mm, I really hope the Cubs make a play for him. I'm not gonna hold my breath, but they have the money. And he would, he'd dominate. He dominate Wrigley Field. Cubs got a lot of good young young players. They could probably contend for a little while, especially with the way the NL Central is right now. That's kind of in shambles. Not complaining about that. Nice Wander Franco Sweet Shades. I don't think it's going to be numbered, but I know they can be numbered. That was an unexpected little hit there. I'll take that. How do you guys like me searching for these short prints? I kind of want to keep doing it. I really want a Julio short print. I've actually, I got four Bobby Witt short prints. Uh, two I've actually already sent in the PSA. I got a nine and a 10 out of one, out of two of them. And I have two more that I'm waiting to send that are, I, in my opinion, better than the two I sent in previous. But I'd like to, like to get that Julio. It has, I have not, uh, not got my hands on that yet. And it'd be nice to get, to get them. That means I'd have all, the big three, in my opinion. Torkelson, Witt, and Julio. Tristan McKenzie. 1403 of 2022. I tell you what, it looks like a 
good hard breeze will blow this guy over while you throw smoke. Ozzy Albies having a good year, hitting some, hitting some home runs. All right, well we got three packs left. Julio better be hopefully in one of these. If not, again, how do you guys like this? I'm thinking about, uh, kind of thinking about doing this until I hit them. Got these twenty. I think I got these 20 for just like, I think after shipping and taxes, about 92 bucks. So they're not really, they're not that expensive. Actually, I feel like that's a pretty good deal. But they're something that I wouldn't mind keep ripping until I, until I hit one. It might take me a while, but it's cheaper to go buy the card. Fran Mill. We got another gold. TJ Stewart. 1063 of 2022. We're hitting pretty good out of these. I'm surprised. Normally I would assume that these would all be searched. I know uh, I'm pretty sure they have been searched. Um, the uh, security tags that are in them, out of the 20, there was only two security tags. So I know whoever sold them to me were searching for the security tags because I'm sure there'd be a, a few more than two out of 20. But we've been hitting pretty good, so I'm not gonna, gonna hate too hard. Blue of the Baltimore Orioles. Ooh, a blue Reese Hoskins. Nice looking 87. Step on the box from Brett. We got some last pack mojo. Maybe I can steal some of his thunder. I don't know if you guys watch him or not, but that guy is always on a heater. He is always pulling something. So hopefully it uh, works. That's the case. I'll say it every time if I have to. Schmidt, Topps Chrome, and will be stars. And do we have anything like that? Nope. Got a Cabrera 87, Cabrera stars, Ozzy. And it looks like that's going to be it. Well, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Appreciate you seeing the first 20 of the series. Felt like we've done okay. Ooh, we got a few gold. Sweet shades of Wander's Nice. Shohei. Got the vintage stock. Some more gold. Trout. A gold Yepes. I'm happy with that one. I'm actually pretty happy with this Machado short print. And even pretty happy with the Joe Ryan. I think he's doing okay. I think he's got, got what it takes to be Top pitcher. And of course, you know, the vintage stock of Danny Duffy. Yep. Vintage stock of Luis Garcia. And the Greg Deakman out of, was it 199? Yep, red. All right. Appreciate you guys. Stay tuned for the next one. See ya.